Aga in America is a Polish YouTuber known for her raw vegan fruitarian diet that has garnished quite a bit of attention recently. She showed videos of her newest baby boy and it's very apparent something is very wrong. His legs not developing properly. This poor boy has absolutely no fat on him. Even when clothed, it's very apparent he is starving. A Polish girl sent me pictures from Aga's Instagram story of the child without a shirt. Truly horrifying. This is the definition of rickets. A disease of children caused by vitamin D deficiency, characterized by imperfect calcification, softening, and distortion of the bones, typically resulting in bow legs. I guess he's just not doing the vegan diet right. Or is he detoxing? The only thing I've ever seen her feed her first child, her daughter, is raw fruit. The child even throwing it out half the time it was given to her. Ridiculous things like blended slop smoothies in mason jars half the size of the child. Both her and her significant other look like a pair of Scandinavian bones and clothing. They can play resurrected corpses in any medieval video game. Her cuck of a husband is looking more and more like her every day. I think she might be bigger than him at this point. The facial development of their first child hasn't suffered much yet or at least deviated from what is the norm now. Probably because the child was breastfed partially and Aga had some nutrients left in her from when she used to eat animal foods. At no point in time does this child ever look like she is enjoying or wants to eat her food. Then these demons have the nerve to go for another child. Aga being proud of her skeletal figure even just moments before giving birth, clearly way too thin and deprived of nutrition. When the baby was born, he had a severely receding chin, notably different than the previous child. Looks like Aga is just about out of those animal nutrients from her past life thriving on meat. In a video where she announced her diagnosis of a brain tumor, her husband had the nerve to imply they were more educated than professional doctors on certain topics. But when we have our, our meetings with these professionals, we ask a lot of questions. Oh yeah. <laughs> and we usually, we're, we're well researched before we have the meetings with them. And so we sometimes know a little bit more than they do about certain topics and they're kind of surprised at that. And by no means am I saying this is impossible, but you're speaking awfully highly of your intelligence when you're starving yourselves and your children half to death on a nonsensical diet. Then he starts talking about detoxing after her pregnancy. Now after the pregnancy, we had already discussed the, uh, the idea of her going to um, or detoxing afterwards. Right. Um, <clears throat> she's, she's wanted to, to detox for a long time, do some kind of a fast or something. But I couldn't because I was pregnant. <clears throat> you can't redo that stuff. Don't do that stuff when you're pregnant. <laughs> yes. Right. So, uh, so we've always been putting that on hold. And so we were kind of waiting to, for a good time to do it. I did do the um, <clears throat> juice cleans if you want mm -hmm. to call it like that. And people mm -hmm. use all kinds of, you know, phrases and words to describe it. But anyways, I did make, make a video about it and I'm not sure which one will go first, this mm -hmm. one or the juice one. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I did uh, do two weeks on juices only and then the whole month or even let, more than a month, mm -hmm. more really, because I still mostly drink now. I eat, but I mostly drink juices. Mm -hmm. So I did that. This was something that I wanted to do. I can't make this up. She literally did a juice fast after giving birth to her second child, a period of time where the mother is normally breastfeeding her child on nourishing foods, getting it to develop optimally. That being said, this woman did have her breasts removed several years ago out of fear of cancer. Then this dimwit genuinely thought a juice cleanse would shrink her tumor. I was pretty positive about it. I, I, was, I felt that it would either be the same size, the size of a nickel or, or maybe even smaller because of the juice cleanse and the fact that she's had a really good diet uh, all through the pregnancy. So my, I was very optimistic. But guess what happened? She didn't even wait so long. She says, hi, how are you? 
and you know normal thing and then she sat down and she said that unfortunately the the she said the tumor um increased in size significantly she said mm -hmm. and that meant 25 percent so it's 25 percent bigger than than it was before i got pregnant the last scan a few months before i mm -hmm. got pregnant Pretty which is almost right before i got pregnant i think which is about i think it's about two centimeters or about the size of a quarter and she thinks her juice cleanse was healing it Oh my god. Now, the oncologist said that it's possible that I had a headache. I had the mm -hmm. headaches because of the brain tumor that I have, which I don't believe in such a coincidence. To but be honest, that it started happening at the same time when mm -hmm. I was juicing. So what, I let me finish. So, uh -huh. so when Nathan said that um that there was that the tumor is doing something, that there's something happening inside, then I thought, okay, so what if I did that what mm -hmm. if the juice cleanse started like doing something with the tumor mm -hmm. in my head to get rid of it mm -hmm. and that's why things started happening uh, it was a busy healing yes because right. i do not believe in such a coincidence that mm -hmm. my my headaches mean you know um the symptom of the tumor started happening at the same time when mm -hmm. i when i did the juice cleanse i i just you can take whatever you want and you can have your own opinion but i personally don't believe that this is the case well the fact that after the juice cleanse your headaches went away if right. It, when if I started it was eating, the tumor, then you would have. I would still have, have exactly. I would still have right. the headaches, and then mm -hmm. when I started eating, and I still drink a lot, but mm -hmm. I eat also. Um, so when I started eating, then my headaches started getting smaller, and mm -hmm. then um, they stopped. They decided not to opt for surgery. I was reading some YouTube channel, and in a comment, somebody said, "You know that Lauren Lockman guy seems to have all this stuff really figured out," and that was it. I said, huh, well, that guy sounds pretty confident in him. I'd, I'm going to go check it out. So I went and checked out Lauren Lockman. Discovering Lauren Lockman, another vegan whack job. Let's say you take a bite of an apple. Your amazing body takes, as, as you're chewing the food, which you have to do for this to happen. So if you blend it, juice it, you know, uh, whatever, you tend to swallow it without chewing it up. This doesn't work so well. But as you're chewing the food, your body's actually taking a measure of what's there on your tongue and preparing the perfect environment to digest that food in the stomach. There's no uh, regimen or a special diet plan that you're supposed to do. It, it's, it's free of any interference from someone, somebody who thinks they're smarter than, than nature. So you shouldn't think you're smarter than nature, but you go against nature in following a vegan diet. They literally look like two skeletons eating at the table starving themselves to death. Jeśli futbol wam się podobał, koniecznie dajcie znać, czy tak było. Dajcie też znać, jaki jest wasz ulubiony sort sałatki. Bardzo chętnie poczytam różne opcje i się zainspiruję waszymi pomysłami. Jeśli wypróbujecie zbędowane mango jako dressing do waszego dania, to też dajcie mi znać, jak wam smakowało. Nie zapomnijcie zostawić lajka i subskrypcji, a ja zobaczę się z wami następnym razem. Na razie! And this woman is speaking at events, signing books, being idolized by other nut job crazies. When will this madness end? I don't know. On both fronts, on the carnivore front, on the vegan front, on the standard American diet front, you know, there's something going wrong in every which way whatsoever. You have vegans starving, literally killing children and maiming babies. You have carnivores making people infertile, estrogenic with feedlot meats. You know, you have doctors prescribing statins to people like my grandmother and slowly killing them. You know, there's way too much money at play way too many people profiting off of other people being unhealthy. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Guys, please share the video. I watched every single one of Akka's videos the other day to, to get everything for this. So uh, would help me out. If you guys do want to support me further, frankiesrangemeat.com. We just came out with some healthy chocolate chip cookies. We're probably already sold out, so I shouldn't have even mentioned them. 
Uh, you can go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. And if you are interested in a consultation for your health, check out frank-tofano.com. Thanks again, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you.